Good morning, YouTube. In today's video is how to make a fabric duct tape clutch bag. The pro uh. <laughs> the uh, products that we're going to be using today are is a a single fat quarter. Let me see where's the camera at. A single fat quarter at 18 inches by 21 inches. Some ribbon, 22 millimeters by 6.4 millimeters. Some tacky glue, your duct tape, <laughs> and heat bond. You're going to need, of course, your scissors, fabric scissors. I would say fabric and paper scissors because you're going to be cutting both. And your stapler. And for you snazzy ones, your bejewel one. <laughs> oh, and let me, not, let me not forget your ruler. Okay, so first what you want to do is you want to determine how you want to lay out your fabric. Because mine is zebra stripe, the fabric that I'm going to be using is the zebra pattern. I want it to go parallel because of how the, how the fabric is laid out. So what you want to do is determine first off how big you want your, your, um, your, your clutch. And then also, um, if it's pat, if it has a pattern in it, how you want your pattern to lay. For mine, because of the is zebra stripe, I don't really want the zebra stripe going down. I want it going from left to right versus um, up and down. So it's going to be a little dif difficult because of the simple fact that I have less fabric to work with as far as making sure I have that that flap and everything so that's why I chose to use uh, the ribbon the ribbon so I can of course add an extra little piece to it and um, I'm not for sure how I'm going to incorporate this we're learning this tutorial together because I did the tote bag and it was fairly simple but I wanted to try something else with that same concept so you know all errors in this video is live because I, I don't know how we're going to work this out but I did want to come on and we can do this together so basically what you're going to do is once you unfold your quarter out it's going to be wrinkled so you want to iron all the wrinkles out on both sides and then you want to get your duct tape now because my fabric is so light I didn't want to mark on any of it so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and line the inside of this the whole piece and I'm just cutting so this is what I'm doing so far I'm just laying the duct tape over the top part of the fabric you know line by line up into the end of it so that's pretty much what we're doing now is we're just lining that duct tape. And I did leave just a little bit or, you know, layered a little bit of the duct tape over it, some of the parts, because I think that's where we're going to lay the ribbon part to where we, we fold or so we staple the ribbon part on there and fold it over. So, yeah, just continue that all the way down, all the way down. Now, mind you, this is no sew. If you want to sew it, you know, you do how you want to do. But this, I thought, was unique. And I didn't have to bust out my sew machine or anything like that. Not everybody has a sewing machine because they are definitely not cheap. So, you just go. Let me turn the camera a little bit. You're going. <sighs> All right. There we go. So. And then I also, you know, got some cord that I put out, some cord that I have in case I wanted to make me a strap. But I'm just overlapping the lines just a tad bit. Not a lot, just a little. Because, you know, I don't want... No I don't want any fabric showing from the outside. Because this is going to be... The lining, of course, the everything of your bag. So, product, or at least the duct tape finished product. So now we're gonna fold the bag. 
in half. Well, a little less. Maybe I will do... Hmm, let me get my ruler so I can see. Okay, so I'm at 7 inches. And I'm comfortable with the 7 inches. Because as long as my phone and lipstick... Let me grab my phone. Because my children keep wanting to come up in here while I'm trying to record. And I've already told them once. I don't know how long they think it takes to record a video. But leave me alone. You have, Everybody has their own room. I don't know what's so good about being in your parents' room. They have the fear they're going to miss out on something. What's the new word that they just stuck in? The, the mofo? Fear of missing out? They are some mofos. Okay. So I'm just removing a little crinkle for I had attempted to, you know, when I had attempted to, uh, So we're at six inches, and I'm just trying to measure and get six inches out properly. So here's this, and I'm at six inches. So I got to roll it back a little more just so I can get six inches out. Okay. So hold it because if you don't like I did and added all that excess duct tape, it's going to be in the way. So what I did is I measured out six inches of the bag and I'm going to fold six inches. So you want to fold across and you want to just measure and make sure each part of the bag is the same amount of length because, you know, so I took my ruler and I measured across. It was actually after I've done the fold and everything, it's going to be a little more than six inches, which is fine with me. It's more than like six and a half. So you just want to make sure you have that six and a half inches across the whole length of the bag. And this looks like it's a little less got all my stuff in the way it's about right it's about even across the bag okay so now that you have it you want to fold it okay so you fold the bag down okay And so, I'm not liking all the excess that I have here. So, I'm going to scale it down a bit. Um, let's see. So, I take it. I did have the 18 inches because here's 18 here. So, I'm going to do actually 18 inches because I know an inch is going to be. Let me get my pen. And it's not going to even be a full 18 inches because here's the 18 mark right here. So, I'm going to take 18 of the inches and I'm going to cut it off. Second, let me get my 
Okay. So now that I have cut all that excess off, this is what I have. Okay. And then I'm going to just go on the side here and cut off this excess duct tape too because this is, I'm tired of it sticking everywhere. So I'm going to just go right on the side. I'm sorry. And um, cut all the excess duct tape off of here. I wish I had my better scissors, but I have no idea. That's the one thing I hate about moving is that when you move, you can't find jack for a while. And I had just seen my uh, staples. And now when I went to go do this video, I couldn't find them. I couldn't tell you where them staples is at. So I'm going to pull it up to the light so I won't cut my fabric or anything. I just want to cut the duct, the excess duct tape because it's just all in my way. And I believe I got snipped a little bit of my fabric. What? No. Well, I can't tell if I did or if I didn't. So, well, we can open it up and see. Okay, it doesn't look like I did. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, I did not. Okay, so this is what you have. And even this is still too much fabric for me. I'm really not happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up a little bit more. But at least I have clean lines now. Everything is not just jagged. So it's probably, it probably going to be more about 7 inches up. Okay. Everything's going to be about 7 inches back. Okay. So let's see. Let me fold that down. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Now, mind you, we are working from the outside of the bag in. Okay, the outside of the bag in because everything you do, make sure you, you know, if you cover the fabric correctly on the outside. Now I'm going to measure again just to see what I have. I have just, well, no, I have about seven inches. Yeah, I have about seven inches of bag. So I was right. I should have stayed at the seven. Okay, so I have seven inches of bag. And I'm just going to make sure I have seven inches of bag here. Well, this needs to move down. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get this part here lined up with the edge of the bag here. Okay. I really too want it to be on the actual seven inch mark. So here's seven inches, and I'm gonna try to roll it back just a tad bit so it can be exactly on the seven inch mark. Now it's just shy of seven inches. All right, perfect. So now I got it exactly at 7 inches, and I just want to make sure it's 7 inches on this side as well. So, peace. Okay? And you do yours however you want to do it, but I just thought that was just way too much. Way too much. So, you know, I got enough to probably make me a wallet out of it. A wallet out of the extra fabric because it's already still duct tape and everything and actually I wasted a lot of duct tape with that but I didn't know you know what I was going to do prior to so you know this is all a learning experience and I'm making sure I have enough for my flat so now what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to staple the side of the bag that has that is, you know, 
staple everything but the flap. So you want to take it about, like I said, maybe a half of an inch. And I'm going, you know, right next to the, real close to each staple to kind of, you know, uh, oh well. I'm going to just go real close to each staple. But you want to keep it in a straight line. You don't want to jagger it too much. And what I would recommend is just to make sure you stay on that straight edge. I would draw a line. Draw a line so you know where you're going. You know, it's not going to hurt. Because it's not like you can see it anyway, for one. And for two, it keeps everything neat. So I'm going to draw this line. And I'll show you. So I drew a line. And I'm going to just staple across that line. Okay. So you stapled everything down. Okay. And that makes it to where it's not coming my side there. Because I still kind of want to keep it at the, um, the 12 inches. So I probably should have did it a little more. But that's fine. I mean, you know, you do what you do. So I'm going to measure out, hold on, where did I do here? Let me put this to here and draw my line. And I'm going to just take my ruler now and go back, excuse me, and go back down at my half a centimeter mark, at the straight edge of it. Okay. All right, so then I'm just going to staple that half a centimeter from the top to the bottom to be right on the line because I am definitely not on the line, but I'm as close as possible. So now that you have, this is what you have on both sides, you have your bag staple. So now, you know, before you turn it inside out, of course, you're going to cover that, that part. And also, what I will suggest to you is, let me see, I don't know if I can do it, but maybe I can, is I will say, make a staple at the top of each part of your bag. Because you're going to have to make a snip so you can be able to cut that flap out. So how I did that at the very top, you want to do that on each side there. So you can make a snip right at the top of your bag there. Because you're going to have to turn around and fold those edges back. That, And then you're going to cover your staples. So cover this. Cover your staples on this side here. Because you don't want to do what I just did, which is cut my finger on the staple. So we're going to go ahead and take the, the duct tape and you're going to use half on each side. So you're going to just cut, oh, hold on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and go back over them and just make sure the edges of them are closed. And I'm just taking and just smushing down on my ruler. There you go. So now I'm going to take the duct tape here and I'm going to just go over the edges. And you really don't even need that much. So you can, you know, depends on how wide or how long the, the side of the bag is or how long your bag is. I would just take half of it, half of it here and then flip it over. And cover the other side and I'm going to remove this excess because it's actually on the top of the bag that I don't want it to be on because remember I'm just covering the staples so I'm going to remove it from the other part of the bag that I do not want it on so 
see how I have it over on this part here. I'm just removing that because it's not necessary and I don't need it. Now, hang on a second. Let me move that out of the way. All right. So I just have all that excess moved out the way. Get a little bit more. Okay, but you see how it's covering the actual staples. Ta da! Okay, and then I'll cut it off the off the bottom, the excess off the bottom. Okay, and you just want to repeat that on the other side here. I said I have more duct tape than I want on there. I'm gonna just take the Exacto knife and remove that, so it can be. Flush. All right. There we go. All right. I don't know what happened here. So it would it cut off at the part where I was showing you that I had cut. Um, excuse me. I covered both sides of my bag, and at the corners of the bag, I stuck my finger in and made a triangle at the end. At the end, and stapled. Or excuse me. I did an inch on each side and stapled across. So if you look inside the bag there, you'll see the corners are stapled right here. And then I flipped it inside or outside in. And I just have to cover that with duct tape. So you just want to take duct tape. And you don't need a lot. I mean, enough just to cover those staples at the end over there. So what you want to do with that is you want to get you a little bit of duct tape. Enough to be able to cover, you know, the, the flat part because it needs to be able to stay down. So what you're going to do with that is just take your duct tape into the bottom of it and just press down. Press down. And it doesn't have to be neat or nothing like that because, I mean, really it's inside of the bag and if anybody's looking at the construction of your bag and is that critical unless you're just a perfectionist okay so now you see the staples now you don't so um we're gonna go to the next side next side and then I'm going to do the same thing and I'm just going to press down on the uh, the edge of it oh, let me fold these down a little more so I can get it in here and I'm just going to go right in and just fold it on down and push that duct tape over that edge with the uh, that corner and that corner with the staples on it and then you're pretty much done with your bag you know as far as the construction of getting it together now you're just working on your your um, sides here and then on your sides like I said you're going to have to cut the you know cut those little flaps out on the side so it can curve or it can turn over on your bag so what you do is you just snip just a little bit I say this was what? Let me see, a centimeter. So I keep snipped about a centimeter on each side, and then I'm gonna just fold it in. And you can fold it in, you know. And then you're gonna take the edge of it and cover it in duct tape. You don't want to cover it all the way to the to the very end of it, but you just want to line this part so it'll stay down. So you know, get you a little piece of duct tape and I might just use some of this excess duct tape that I used on this bag over here this way I can recycle it I ain't gonna say it's not going to it's going to good use okay so I'm just gonna take a little bit here the, the duct tape that I've already I put on the one of the cut pieces and I'm just gonna fold 
and I'm just going to cover it. Okay? And I'll show you in a moment what it looks like. Give me one second. Because I'm in the process of trying to fold in, hold the duct tape down. I hold it down while I push place the duct tape on there. Okay? And then, voila. This is what you have. So you then cover this side here so when you close your bag, you won't see the duct tape hanging off. Well, because we're going to cover this part with the ribbon. So, voila. See? So let's finish up on this side here. Now, will I say on this side here, I did mess up on the measurement part because this wasn't lined correctly. And I had already covered it, so I didn't see it. And I measured it along with the duct tape. So with that, I'm going to cover that with ribbon too. But we're not going to worry about that right, right now. We're going to worry about going ahead and getting this closed out. Exactly. Okay, so I'm just going to take a piece of this duct tape off of here. We're going to recycle this duct tape here. Get the piece off of here. And we're just going to use this to fold and close the end over here. Okay. And I'm going to put a little too much to the, to the edge because I don't want the duct tape showing on that edge at all. So we're going to just come over here. Over. Move over. There we go. Let me put it down just a little bit more all right and just smooth it out and then also if you want you know it's totally up to you if you want to dab a little bit of your glue and put it in there so as it dries it's you know a little bit more flush but that's totally up to you on how you want to do it. So, bam. Now you got your clutch. So, now you got to do is just, you know, work on, of course, closing. These are the excess duct tape pieces. So, all you want to do is just work on, you know, closing up those excess pieces there. And then you're all set. So, I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. And I'm going to come back and show you my finished product. All right. Be back. All right, and I just wanted to come back and kind of show you the finished product. I got my bow on here and um, everything. See, on the top part, I have added some black ribbon to it. And then there you go. So this is the top part of it, the bottom, so it can sit down. So you can see it. You can hold it. It's pretty sturdy. You know, I can fit my phone, some keys, uh, glass case, book. You know. Uh oh. So I didn't. I glued it on, so it is not all the way. That, but there you go and it's pretty you know pretty sturdy pretty nice size you can sit it down you don't have to worry about it tipping over so that's my tutorial let that glue stick on there you let me know what you think now I will tell you two things on the adding of the ribbon now you don't necessarily have to add the ribbon what I will say is this, as far as the construction part of it, okay, if you lay the duct tape, let's say, an inch below where you want to start, you can always fold that fabric back on each side. So you don't have to go from edge to edge lining the duct tape. I would say give yourself at least a... Um, uh, inch space between where you start your duct tape and the fabric on each side that way you have you know enough room to be able to fold the fabric over 
and you can always add your heat bond or whatever to you know to that to that edge with the ribbon um my ribbon is just dangling here and you don't have to have that little bow i just wanted to add a little something to kind of you know spruce it up or whatever it's still just kind of hanging because it is i mean i just stuck it on and then went ahead and finished it up so this is how the back looks and you know for something just trial and error of course it will get better with time so this is how it looks the inside duct tape and then i have everything in there my glass case my keys uh-oh my ribbon and fell off we're gonna put that back on there my glass case my some keys and i have a lot of keys for work so like 15 a whole lot of keys on this ribbon i mean on this ring for my job of course my phone glass case and the book and i don't know who's gonna go out with all that in there Thing most people will put a wallet in, and then you know, for me, the wallet will work too. Ah, I'm walking way over here, my purse is over here. Okay, I have one of these type of wallets here, and it fits in here too. So, we will do the phone, the wallet, and the key, keys, and then my glass case, and voila. And it's all in there. That's kind of like the phone keys gum. There you go. And you're all set. So let me know how you would like how you like the tutorial. And once again, I will put a link onto the tote bag there. And you can also ha hang, you know, a strap across it. I might just do that. I'm not quite for sure if I'm going to do it or not because I did get the the rope. This rope here. It's a hang across it, but I don't know if I want to do it or not to make it a, a crossbody bag. I'm not quite for sure, but you know, here, you can do it however you want to. And I will cover, you know, of course, cover it with the ribbon, but you know, you do it how you want to do it. I don't, I, I thought about that. So if I decide to change it, I will add pictures or a update to it or a comment or whatever, or you know, and then I'll also post it on my Instagram at um, Dinky Don Jury. And, of course, I'll put that information on the bottom as well so you can see the finished product. But here you go. Tell me if you like it. Tell me what you would do different. You know, like I said, this is just something that I just decided to do based off of that tutorial that um, she had on here regarding the tote bag. So you just let me know what you think. All right. Have a good day.